Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick recording. Um, just tell you about a couple things that came up. I watched this video a couple days ago, and it's all about remote viewing and how this man and a team of people he led um, were remote viewing for the government and running that program. And they all came to see um, an event that was the last thing they could ever see. And in part to this video, he says, everyone is at war and they look up at the sky and they stop and they drop everything and they go home. Okay. The rest of it is all about how it might be our son, what might happen, which I think is a bunch of malarkey. I think it's assumptions. Um, but the whole thing about everyone stops and looks up and everyone on earth sees the event. And they're in the middle of war, and they, they stop, and they change their priorities, okay? So I saw this video, and I was thinking about it. I thought, well, that actually sounds like either everyone really witnessing the Lord coming or the Great Deception. So I was pondering it and thinking about it. And today, this came in my notifications. Um, I subbed this man here, as you see. And um, I don't often watch a lot of his videos, but he puts out some amazing stuff. And I should be watching him whenever because he's, he's great. Um, and he referenced this other video that I showed you before, okay? But he only referenced the part that I found fascinating. He didn't get into the whole kill shot, sun flare, sun dying. He didn't get into all that. He just kept stuck it to the essentials of what they saw. And then I was like, that's interesting. So whenever I really appreciate a video, I always read the comments, okay? Because sometimes you gain so much knowledge just from seeing what other people think and have to say about something and you can... You know, you don't have to agree with them, you don't have to disagree, but you can investigate. So, as I was reading the comments, I came upon this comment right here, where it says, Sounds like he's talking about the great warning that was spoken of at Garabando. And other Marian apparition sites. And I thought, hmm, what's that? It sounds like the secrets of Fatima, right? So lo and behold, I go and I type it into Google and it's all about these women um, who, and some of them actually have similar names to the ones in Fatima or this Jacinta. But anyway, they all saw this vision from the Virgin, okay, which right there is a red flag to me. Um, and you know, I'm just saying, I, I take it with a grain of salt. Um, that something happens, one of them knows the particular date, whatever it is, everyone looks up, everyone on earth sees it and knows it's from God, and they instantly, if you go and read it, and I'll put all the links below, okay, it's a direct sign from God, and um, people will feel terrible about the sins they've committed and they will want to turn their lives around and after this happens, shortly thereafter, within a year, a miracle happens and everyone witnesses that, okay? So you, if you go through and you read this, that's roughly what they say. They never tell you what everyone sees. They say they see something and they feel something and they all know it's from God. And then, like I said again, within a year, there's a miracle that they all know was from God. Okay, see it says then they will then see all their sins and what their sins have caused. Okay, now <clears throat> I read all the way through and I found it fascinating, okay? And one woman said, I can't tell you what the event is that everyone sees, but all I can say is the letter A. And I thought that was odd. So same thing. The secrets of Our Lady of Fatima. I just put some wiki things up here. 
and the third secret. Now the video, I'm not supposed to play that, I'm sorry. Um, that's not the video I had up originally. Nope, I don't want to play it either. That's not it either. Has this been playing the whole time? <sighs> Alright, I don't know. Sorry about that. Alright, it's this one. So, this video right here, Father Malachi talks about the third secret of Fatima. And again, he says, you know, the the three women witnessed it in like 1917 and this was I think this was uploaded in the 90s okay so um, he talks about it and he says he can't disclose but everyone will see it and everyone will know it's from God it's very very similar to the Garabandal story okay and it's all that they saw an apparition of the Virgin and the Virgin told them this that and the other and I want to point out one other thing that I forgot that's important somewhere in here in this Garabandal one one of them says may the Virgin forgive me okay first of all the Virgin doesn't forgive anything so this is why I'm hesitant like I don't <laughs> I just think they're talking about God, but they're asking the Virgin to forgive them. So it doesn't make any sense. It's it's like Jonathan's always telling us about beware of Virgin worship, and and they they trick people into worshiping the Virgin. And so anyway, um, one of the other things one of them mentioned was yes, if we repent from our sins and pray the Rosary, it's in here. I could be like ten minutes looking for it, but I wanted you to know that, and you can go look yourself. So these are the other things, like Jonathan said, when he prayed the, the um, Hail Mary, which is what you do when you go through the, for the rosary, um, you know, he said he felt light and life leaving him. So I just want to say how similar these two things are, the Lady of Fatima and the Three Secrets of Fatima and the Garabandal thing, and how it relates to... The great deception in Revelation and everyone wonders after the beast and worships the beast except for those people who know Jesus and the true God so I just wanted to mention that and I'll put a couple of links and I just wanted to put that out there because I think it's important because I'm starting to think that um, all the technologies they have available with what these women here describe planes stopping in the air and, and everyone seeing things they have technologies that um, can cause people to have feelings that aren't their own they can um, use frequency to make people feel sick and literally physically get sick, have stomach problems, nausea, headaches, vomiting, all kinds of things. It's, it's documented. It's basically Tesla technology. You know, you're always hearing about Einstein. They never tell you a thing about Tesla. Einstein put out a bunch of theories, and I'm sure he was a very smart man, but someone asked him well what is the what is the smartest man in the world thing and he said I don't know go ask Tesla because Tesla would was out there trying things and he's got a bazillion patents and I mean think about this when he died the government waited and waited and waited he died they went in and they swooped up all of his papers and they've been putting out his technology right under our noses we use almost everything we use for modern technology is based on Tesla technology. Things that Tesla thought about, invented, tested out, perfected, wrote about in papers. You know, um, he knew that, that the universe ran on frequency, which is something they're pushing in the, the New Age, um, you know, 
the new agers like to talk about frequency, but nobody wants to tell you that, you know, think about it in terms of, in terms of God. They want you to meditate on nothing. <laughs> I mean, what a waste of time. Anyway, um, I just wanted to point out that they do have Project Bluebeam and they have cloaking devices. And I mean, if just Google it. Google it. It's out there. It's legit technology that you can look up that Nicholson talks about all the time. And it's if they're telling you about it now, they've probably been using it for 50 years. So keep that in mind. Um, and God bless. Thank you for listening.